Hey everybody, what's up? Another tool for you guys that I highly recommend is a torque wrench. You don't have one, you should go get one. Uh, the reason torque wrenches are so important and oftentimes I see a lot of people just kind of using their own strength. Uh, I've even heard some people say that uh, you know a bolt is tight when you can see the little tendons start flexing or bulging out of your wrist and that's how you know it's tight. Um, yeah, that's a big myth. Don't believe that or any other kind of myths. The reason manufacturers give torque settings is because uh, each bolt that they use has a certain um, uh, shear strength and it has a fatigue limit. And so what happens is if you over tighten that bolt, then uh, over time it can start to fatigue along with just the stress of what it's used for and that can cause to a premature breakage so it could be something minor and you can get away with it and you're like oh ha huh, cool I didn't really uh, have to shell out too much money for the fix or it could be something major like your wheel lugs breaking while you're driving and hopefully you don't damage too much of your car and other people's cars or property. So torque wrenches are really important because you can torque the bolt down to the manufacturer's recommendations and that's very, very important. So I highly recommend you get a torque wrench, uh, something that can go up to uh, at least 150 foot pounds and that also reads in uh, newton meters and foot pounds. Also, um, you might have to buy a smaller torque wrench that reads in inch pounds and newton meters. And the reason for inch pounds uh, is because sometimes you're gonna have a torque specification that's lower than the lowest torque uh, measurement on your large torque wrench. And so you're gonna need to have a separate torque wrench that reads in inch pounds. And then the cool thing with inch pounds, if you're thinking, well, there's no foot pounds, what do I do? Uh, not a problem, just grab out your calculator and convert inch pounds into foot pounds. And if you don't have a calculator, but you do have a connection to the internet, you can go online and find a converter. I will put a link in the description down below uh, if you don't have a calculator, but you do have an internet connection. So yeah, um, one of the tools that I highly recommend to have in your toolbox are torque wrenches. Very important. Um, so as of today, stop just hand tightening tool or hand tightening uh, bolts because sooner or later you're going to over tighten something and ah, that's also going to lead to stripping a nut or a bolt and that could put too much uh, pressure on the bolt which will lead to premature fatiguing. And so that's something you don't want to do. That's another reason you want to have a torque wrench in your toolbox. Hope this helps. See you guys next time.